Yo, what's up guys, Cell here, and today I wanna talk about RTA in Counterside. Now over the last week, I have been grinding out RTA as much as I could, and I did finally hit gold rank. I know that's not a big achievement or anything, but it was a big achievement for me, and I did learn a lot along the way, and I wanna try to give you guys some tips on RTA to help you guys out. But before I do that, last Thursday while I was streaming, yes, I do stream live over at twitch.tv slash Gaming. While I was live streaming over there doing some RTA, I got raided by Ichi. Hopefully I'm not butchering his name, but if you don't know who Ichi is, he is this guy right here. He is a top ranked RTA player in Counterside Global. I regularly see him in the top five and in the top 10. He is a great authority on all things like that have to do with RTA and PVP in general. So if you're interested in learning more about in depth about RTA, he is definitely a bigger authority on that. Go, go give him a follow over at twitch.tv slash Ichi Ninja. If by any chance you happen to be watching this Ichi, thank you so much for the raid. And I did learn a lot from your chat. Your chat was very wholesome. They uh, were really informative and overall it was a good experience. So definitely go give him a follow over at Twitch. All right guys, and one more quick disclaimer before we really get into the, like the tips about RTA. I do have to preface this video by saying nothing will trump experience when it comes to these types of gameplay modes. These are gonna be generalized tips to try to get you in the mindset and some bearings in RTA to set you up for success. But nothing will take the place of actual trial and error, learning what works for you, what doesn't work for you, learning counters, developing processing speed, developing deployment speed, reaction time, etc. All of this takes trial and error, so nothing is gonna take the place of that but these tips are designed to help you get your bearings and learn what's up with RTA. So right off the bat, I wanna start by saying silver rank and above is a totally different beast than bronze rank and below. Your world is drastically gonna change once you get to silver five, because that's when all of the bans and the ups start taking place. The so bronze league is kind of like the wild west of things, right? You Nothing is banned. You can use all of the ships and all of the units that you want. So it's gonna be kind of tough because you do have to just power through it, but your life is gonna be even harder once you get silver rank five, because then you can then those bans get in place. So as you can see here, this week's ban actually destroyed my PVP lineup. Okay, I have a ban two on my ship. I have a ban two on Shafuyu, a ban two on Xiaolin, a ban two on Rosaria. Like these units are pretty much kind of not usable at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to have, I'm gonna have to do some tweaking up on this list uh, before I like advance further in the gold rank, okay? <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, you're going to start working on the bands list and going around the ups and the, and the downs of that. You're really going to have a hard time in silver five because you still can fight people but in the bronze rank that don't have those bands applied to them. OK, but the thing to keep in mind is as you go up the ranks, you can't be downgraded past a certain point. So once you do reach silver five, once you get to silver four, you can't be downgraded and, and it goes all the way up into the gold league. So once you reach gold league, you can no longer get below gold league. You're, you're safe. You're safe there. You're, you might stay at 2000 points for a while, but but you're pretty much safe there and you're going to get your season points and, you know, a little bit more quartz. All right. So now that we know what to expect from RTA when we jump in there, we need to focus first and foremost on who's going to be banned. Even if you're in Bronze League, you need to know what's going to be banned and what's going to be up when you get into Silver League, because that's how you're going to have to start building your team to get around it. Now, the thing to keep in mind with banned units is even if they're a banned one, they do not get their leader bonus, which means not only do they get a increase in their deployment cost, they do not get the decrease in the deployment cost for that leader bonus. Now you can still set them as a leader if you really wanna guarantee them the first slot like deployment, but generally you're missing out on deployment cost reduction, which is not good. Each level of the band is gonna increase their deployment cost up to level 10. So let's talk about the different band levels and how to decide what to use. If my ship here was a band one, I would definitely use it. It's a level 100 ship. And the only other ships that I have that I could use are like level 50, level 30. So I don't have anything really built. So using a level one ship is gonna to be better than you know using something else like this and that's because the stat reductions the attack the skill the the skill hey stuff like that largely doesn't matter but once you start increasing like the band two and the band three that's when you're going to start to really decide maybe i should use a different ship because now you're gimping your hp by a lot and that you're not really going to be getting any skill like skill buffs off which could be useful a band one for units generally isn't 
too bad. You can still use them. Like Claudia goes from a three to a four cost, which still makes her workable. Now, some other characters having a ban one is still kind of like a, you know, maybe you should stay away from. Like take Awaken Hilda, for example. She's a seven cost. That's a really high cost, you know, even at a ban one. So still you're going to be weary of using her. So, but ban ones overall, you can still fit a few, one, maybe two into your list. But as you start getting higher and higher into the rank, you really want to avoid using banned unit. Now, band two units and above, like just Shifuyu here, you can see it's going to have a much higher deployment cost. It's much harder to use these characters, and you really need to start finding a way to get them out of your deployment ASAP. And band three and above is basically unusable. You need to get them out ASAP. So let's look at a unit real quick so you can get an idea of like exactly what I'm talking about. Awaken Hilda, she's a six cost. If you put her as a leader, she's a five cost. However, once she gets like a band one or a band two, let's say she was at a band two, she would go from being a five cost to an eight cost. So that's pretty much unusable. So you really need to pay attention to what you're doing. So always go into this week's bands and up. So you want to see who's banned and you want to see who is up. So in this rotation, it would be a good idea to use Na Yubin, for example. If you have a lot of strikers, you can put him on his team. He's going to get his skills out more often and his stats are going to be buffed and his deployment cost is only going to be two instead of three. Now that we're aware of all this, let's go over some generalized tips on how to set yourself up in RTA. The first thing I want to talk about in this generalized tip section is prevent yourself from just dumping all of your units out all in one spot. While yes, it's important to get your deployment speed faster, if you're just plopping everybody down in one position, you're just begging for your squishier units to get AOE'd instantly. So you really need to get in the habit and practice spreading out the deployment positions of your unit. So basically the idea is you're gonna wanna set down a like a defender or a striker as a frontliner, and then you're gonna use your backline closer to the ship. This is gonna create gap and space for your backline to have some more room and survivability to get some of those skills off. However, you're immediately gonna notice this is gonna create another problem that you need to watch out for, and that is units like Elizabeth, Ingrid, and Ju Shiyun can be deployed behind your front line and disrupt your advance and attack your back line directly. Again, this is where trial and error and overall experience is gonna eventually take hold. You're gonna to need to develop your reaction speed and deployment speed. Again, nothing's gonna beat that experience. Just don't be afraid to lose and always try to learn something from defeat. Another tip on this is while you're starting out RTA and you're in Bronze League or you're just trying to get your bearings is create a pre planned list of deployment characters that you're gonna just use. Practice deploying them instantly, right? So say you're gonna have Esterosa and Zhao Lin. Practice putting Esterosa down front and Zhao Lin in the back by your ship and just do that every time and get that repetition out so you can break the habit of stacking your units and then react. Then you can learn to react to what's been given to you, right? So then somebody might put somebody in the back line, then you might need to drop say, you know, Shifuyu or Kyle Wong or something in the back to really to really help them out as well. So this is all a trial and error experience. And on this note, if you're trying to rush your opponent, you need to go ahead and pre-place a unit. As soon as the doors to your ship open, you can pre-place a unit before the match starts. So you can go ahead and get your units in there ASAP. One thing to keep in mind here is the battle for RTA starts before the battle ever even engages. You're gonna notice it shows you their leader, right? So if you can see that they have Yumi, for example, you know they have an evasive tank in their roster that they can deploy first. If they don't go ahead and deploy that Yumi, you know they're trying to go ahead and burn your sniper or maybe if you have an evasion down debuff, they are gonna try to get you to burn that before they drop that Yumi so they can just steamroll your team because the evasion is really hard to get over. So you wanna keep maybe a sniper behind. So in case they drop that Yumi down, you can drop your sniper and kind of deal with it. The situational awareness and things like that, learning to read what's happening is gonna take a while. So the biggest tip here is to really dive into RTA as soon as you can and just start building that experience up. And on this note, don't be afraid to mix things up. Don't be afraid to try things that you normally wouldn't do. Go into the ranked battle, go into the all listing and look at the top 100. You can look at what they're running and you can get an idea of what's working and what's not working. You see what I mean? And then you can try to tailor some units that work for your gameplay style to yourself. You're gonna notice that the top 100 are all running 
like wildly different units and they all have one or two different units in their team that are going to be different from one another so you can get a really good idea of what's being successful and what's not being successful or if there's a unit that a lot of people are using maybe you need to build that unit as well so don't be afraid to mix things up don't be afraid to learn from other people's experience you know definitely don't be afraid to emulate success and this is why i also suggest not just focusing on your ssrs because you have srs like this administration rifleman he is a really really good damage dealer for a two cost you have people like ju Yoon. he's an underrated character he can be deployed in the back line and he can really wreak havoc on backline units right and he's an sr character not an ssr character the more like you build your team and the more units that you build the better you're going to be in rta now do be careful and don't just like widely spread try to get everything all at once do kind of build them up one at a time but don't focus solely on ssrs mainly what i'm trying to say is don't be afraid to level up some of the r characters claudia nelson r character very good ingrid r character she can be very helpful in disrupting backline units there are so many good units here. If you're just focusing on SSRs, it's gonna be hard to build a breadth of units that you can use in RTA because the bands are always gonna be rotating. And while you might have a powerhouse team now, next week might not be. All of them might be banned, you don't know. So you really need to like try to build up more characters than just your ssrs and on this note as you're first starting rta you need to focus on leveling leveling their stars and their skill levels before anything else yes skill like the gear does matter but you're you're not going to hit that gear cap until much further on into the ranks if you're just focusing on the gears by doing like set bonuses like attack bonuses attack speed skill haste things like that that's going to be much bigger and better for your account than trying to piece together a bunch of t6 and t7 gear what's more important is that you get your stars up and you get your base stats up and then you get the skills up to a higher level because it's not until level five where you get a lot of the utility from your characters at so a great example of this is going to be zhao lin if you look at her skill her passive skill the very last level basic attacks always inflict crit damage so as you can see her having her at a passive level five is going to make her infinitely better than if it was at level four so it's super important that you guys are leveling their skills out getting their star levels up because that's what's going to be most important first yes you will eventually run into a skill cap once you're getting in like gold and diamond league and stuff like that and you're you're really going to have to start min maxing your stats but to break into rta and to get further in you really need to focus mostly on skill ups and your star levels all right guys that's going to be it for today's video if you enjoyed the video consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more information and more videos like this also let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think do you hate rta do you love rta are there some tips that you want to know about it just let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know your thoughts my final thoughts on all of this is as i said in the beginning of the video nothing is going to be trial and error experience the biggest tip that i can give you is to start rta right now right today with what you have and start building up experience right now it's going to take you an extremely long time to learn what to play when to play develop reaction speed it, to get the depth of knowledge that you need for what it, not only what it, all characters do but how to counter those characters this game's pvp is incredibly complex and it's gonna take time to learn what works for you and what doesn't work for you so there's no better time than the present to get started try to get out of the mindset of being afraid to lose that is the biggest killer of rta progress if you're scared to lose you're not going to learn anything every loss can be a stepping stone to your rise through the ranks try to make every loss a learning experience reflect on why you lost what did i do wrong who could i have deployed there to you know to counter that unit should i have you know should i have not deployed a unit right off the bat should i've delayed that deployment Should i you know reacted faster should i reacted slower you know try to take those experience and learn from it and eventually before you know it you're gonna have a wide knowledge of how the game works and you're gonna be making better and better decisions all right that's it guys i'm getting out of here have a great day and i'll see you in the next one